Good evening. So in today's gospel, we hear about how Jesus is healing people in his ministry. And actually, healing is one of the most important ministries in Jesus' life. And it is the ministry of love. In his ministry, we can see the power of love in his words. We can hear the voice of love. In his actions, we can see the hands of love changing the life of people. My dear friends, Jesus today allows everybody who want to get to him. Jesus never abandons anybody who want to come to him. Jesus embraces every wound, every suffering, every trouble of people and of each one of us. Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. And Jesus comes to each one of us day by day. And we learn in today's gospel, Jesus' presence makes a difference. St. Mark tells us in today's gospel, the mother-in-law of Simon Peter is healed. The sick are healed. The demons are cast out. The lives of people are changed. That's why Jesus' presence makes a difference. And it is the same to each one of us. Are we willing to allow Jesus to come and to visit our family as he did visit the house of Simon Peter as we heard in today's gospel or not? Are we called to open the door of our house, the door of our hearts, the door of our life to welcome Jesus to visit our family day by day? Because any time Jesus comes to visit is one of us, he really wants to change. He really wants to touch our life, to touch our suffering, to touch our troubles, to touch our wounds in our life. My dear friends, in the gospel, St. Mark tells us, everybody is looking for Jesus. Everybody is looking for Jesus. So why do people look for Jesus? What attracts people to Jesus? So the, everybody is looking for Jesus because his teaching, his ministry has power has authority. It is the power of love, the power of forgiveness, the power of mercy, the power of healing, the power of God's blessing for people. And it is the authority to bless others, to heal others. And likewise, it's one of us is called to look for Jesus. We are called to look for Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, in Holy Mass, in our prayer, in the church, in our families. We are called to look for Jesus because Jesus is our guidance, our direction for the journey of faith. Jesus is the answer of every question of each one of us. And Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. And Jesus leads us to eternal life. That's why we are called to look for Jesus day by day. And the question, what are we looking for, is the question that have each one of us to reflect on today. Are we looking for Jesus? Are we looking for God? Are we looking for growing in holiness? Are we looking for righteousness? Are we looking for a way to become a great example of love, compassion, forgiveness among our families? Or are we looking for many other activities, many other enjoyments in our life? That's why this question helps us reflect on what are we looking for in our life. My dear friends, any time we look for Jesus, he gives us a mission. 
In the, the gospel, we learn that after healing, the mother-in-law of Simon Peter immediately got up and served Jesus and his disciples. It seems like nobody had for her. And likewise, God not only gives us his healing, his restoration, his blessing, but also he gives us a mission. We are called to become more like Jesus. We are called to become another Christ for others. We are called to become the feet of Jesus, to walk with others. We are called to become the hands of Jesus, to do blessings for others. We are called to become the ears of Jesus, to hear the, the sorrows of others. We are called to become the mouth of Jesus, to say wonderful words for others. And we are called to become the hearts of Jesus, to feel the feelings of others. In doing so, we become more like Jesus, and we become another Christ for others. My dear friends, in the gospel, Jesus appears as a great example of love, of compassion, of mercy, of God's blessing for people. And also, Jesus appears as a great example of spiritual life, of prayer. St. Mark tells us in the gospel, at daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place where he prays. He prays to God. In the gospel, many times we learn that Jesus prays everywhere, every time, and for everybody. Jesus prays in the morning, at noon, at night. Jesus prays before making any decisions in his life. Jesus prays before choosing his disciples, his apostles. Jesus prays before giving thanks to God. Jesus prays before his passion, his death, and his resurrection. Jesus prays on the cross for his enemies. Jesus prays everywhere, every time, and for everybody. And likewise, prayer is very important to each one of us. We believe that in our journey of life, we have many different busy activities in our companies, in our families, in our life. We have many different burdens of life. The burden of shame, the burden of guilt, the burden of witnesses, the burden of disappointments and fears, the burden of sins. And also, sometimes or many times, we run out of love, we run out of forgiveness, we run out of sacrifice, we run out of endurance, we run out of generosity in our families, in our community, and in our life. In the time of these troubles, in the time of these burdens and these activities, Jesus guarantees that I will give you rest. In this time, Jesus always guarantees, do not be afraid, I will give you rest. My dear friends, Jesus always invites one of us to recharge our batteries in God day by day. Because any time we come to Jesus, any time we look for Jesus, he can refill our life with his love, with his compassion, with his forgiveness, with his blessing upon us. And any time we come to Jesus, he is always on, my, on our side and gives us his guidance, his directions. My dear friends, when we have Jesus in our hearts, when we have Jesus in our family, when we have Jesus in our life, we are called to bring Jesus to everybody. We are called to share Jesus Christ for everybody. It is the mission that Jesus did. It is the mission of Jesus' disciples, and this is the mission of each one of us who follow Jesus Christ. Amen.